What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Remastered. And yesterday, of course, was the big Modern Warfare reveal, which is the new Call of Duty title coming out this October. We got beta dates kind of announced for the month of September. We got to see some of the weapons, some of the kill streaks, some of the map designs, uh, some of the different game modes, all the way from 2v2 up to 20v20. There was a lot of things talked about yesterday. One thing that a lot of people enjoyed was the free content. No season pass this time with Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And a lot of people are really excited about that. The one thing that was not mentioned, of course, was microtransactions. Now, microtransactions are in every single game this day and age. It's just kind of how video games have evolved and we've kind of gotten stuck in that loop where microtransactions seem to be in everything you play. And I think there's a lot of things in this game that people are going to like and not like, especially when the beta comes out. We're all going to get kind of hands-on with the game and get to see what we like and don't like. And I know some people like that there's no mini-map. Some people don't like that there's a mini-map. Some people feel like it's going to make the game slower, campy. Of course, we'll all get to have our opinions about that when the beta is released. But the one thing that was not discussed yesterday, like I said, was microtransactions. And that's one thing I think can make or break a game. Now, if you look back at Black Ops 3, there were weapons within supply drops. A lot of people did not like that. That was one of my least favorite things about the game. And that was one reason that I kind of just stopped playing the game after a while. And then, of course, when it comes to Black Ops 4, there was not weapons in the supply drops to begin with. I still didn't like the supply drop system, the micro uh, microtransaction system. But at least there were not weapons in there, in my opinion. So I could tolerated i guess but when weapons were added in black ops 4 to the supply drops i really just kind of stopped playing black ops 4 i just do not like that idea or that system and in my opinion it's just not very fair because you have to be extremely lucky to get some of those weapons or you have to spend a lot of money and there's people that spent hundreds to thousands of dollars to be able to unlock all of these weapons within game and i feel if you're going to pay full price for a game you should have to uh, really give the consumer you know the weapons and things like that within that game to be able to play with them because I just don't feel that, that is very fair now if supply drops are all cosmetic items I'm perfectly okay with it if the game is completely free to play I guess I can say I can understand why there's microtransactions in that game that may have weapons or something like that in it but when it comes to Call of Duty these games aren't completely free to play you're paying 60 plus dollars depending on where you live uh, for the game and then you have to turn around and purchase supply drops to get weapons uh, within the game and a lot of people feel like it is an unfair advantage there might be a really good weapon that comes within the supply drop that you start seeing a lot in game you get beat with that weapon a lot and it feels kind of like an unfair advantage that someone has it and you do not and that you have to go out and spend money to get that weapon for your own use hopefully they will find a way infinity ward will find the way to Kind of rework the microtransaction system i would be perfectly okay with kind of like fortnite or apex how, how they handle it you know you pay 10 bucks you get a season pass and you can unlock weapons and cosmetic things throughout that season pass and you also can unlock currency for the next upcoming season pass i think that would be a better way than just completely making all weapons available within supply drops i'm hoping that they don't do either of those i'm hoping they do something a little bit smarter but we'll have to kind of wait and see. Infinity Ward has done better with microtransactions, in my opinion, than Treyarch has. But overall, I'm just not a fan of microtransactions in general. Leave me a comment, guys. Let me know what you think about it. What kind of microtransactions do you think will be in-game? And how do you think it will kind of determine the way the game goes throughout its life cycle? Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And make sure you click that bell icon up in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. I'll get you next time.